Hello fellow crafters and welcome back to Max DM Crafting. I'm still working to my fortress commission. This time I want to create a piece of wall that connects basically a couple of towers. But uh, instead of doing just a simple wall, on the outside this will be just another piece of walls. But on the inside, in the courtyard, this will be a blacksmith shop, guys. But before start, guys, I need your help. Help Max DM Crafting community grow and do better and better. You can support me if you think that my work is somehow inspirational and you like my videos. You can help me supporting the channel through Patreon or PayPal. Follow the links in the description box below. Another beautiful way that you can use for support my channel is just watching my videos, guys. Go to the channel, search what you like, it's full of amazing tutorials that can uh, help you doing the work that you like. But now, without further ado, let's craft a blacksmith shop. Crack on! The first part of the process involves cutting some pieces of XPS foam of the desired sites. Myproxon is a trusted tool that can greatly increase the accuracy and speed of work. However, it is essential to start with a piece cut at 90 degrees. The inspiration came to me from the distant 80s and more precisely from my dear Lego. Having to build a blacksmith shop integrated into the walls, what better example of this kit from the armory of the old royal castle? To get the right dimensions, I used this resin roof, obtained during the construction of my resin house. Take a look at the video indicated above to see how it was possible to create this roof and then create a mold with it to be able to clone it countless times. Now, here you see my Warhammer Watchtower, which I built in the video shown here. The technique for joining the various parts of the castle consists in creating a cavity in the walls, made to measure so that it can match the buttresses of the tower externally and can include one of the statues on each side of the tower inside. All of this is easier to show you via video than to explain it to you in words, so I leave room for images. For the flooring, I use this texture pin roll by Green Stuff Ward. It is the frozen model, which allows us to obtain a beautiful paved floor in a couple of seconds. I used a pen to accentuate the cracks between the tiles, bringing the separations to the sides on my tile as well. At this point, I decided to reduce the general dimensions of the shop, creating a thin step in order to integrate it better with the internal courtyard of the fortress. I bought a pack of 25 candle effect LEDs 5 years ago now, and I'm still using them. These sweet and round LED candles are perfect for creating braziers, fireplaces and torches, a real must for every crafter. We immediately eliminate the ridiculous plastic flame. By pressing the candle in the center and behind my floor, I get the shape to cut out. I keep the circular piece I extracted for later use. I insert the LED light fixing it on the sides with the hot glue gun. Then, taking advantage of the fact that after pressure the flexibility of XPS foam increases considerably, I go to create the edge of the fireplace. Yeah. 
With a slice of the circular piece from before, I go to cover my tea light at the top, letting only the LED shine through. I don't worry about finishing the piece on the back, I use the Proxon to do it. For the flue I used a simple and quick technique using my trusty arch cutter and getting everything for a nice block of XPS foam as you can see here. At this point I created the brick pattern with my usual method. Once the two walls are finished we are ready to assemble the first part of the shop, including the pieces we cut first in the cavity, between one wall and the other. To support the canopy I create a pair of beams with the ends cut obliquely. There is no exact angle, this is simply the angle that I like best from an aesthetic point of view. Now I insert an architrave using pins to ensure the union of the pieces and reinforce the XPS foam. Once this is done I add the canopy and insert additional support beams to improve the realism and aesthetic of the piece.
key elements I insert on the outer wall are only important for the completion of the fortress. Check the other videos in this series to understand how I design and obtain them. The chimney must be in style with the fireplace. I like to give it a rough, almost improvised look. On the outside, however, I added a couple of pieces from two different statues, one decapitated and the second one just the head. This I need to integrate the piece with the general architecture of my fortress. The main structure is completed. Now we need more details. I start priming the whole thing. This is the usual mix of Mod Podge, black acrylic paint, water and a pinch of baking soda, which I use to fill the cracks and make the XPS foam rock hard. Now let's create the blacksmith pincers. I use a pin, folding it as you can see here, a paper clip is also fine guys, and I join it to a ring thanks to a drop of super glue. Done! Oops, before it dries it's better to clean the primer with which I covered my LED bulb with a wet cotton swab. The combination of color is once again extremely superficial, almost basic. At the end of the construction of the entire fortress, we will dedicate an entire episode to the blending, aging and detailing techniques of the entire project. This is an anvil that I cut out of a piece of XPS foam. It is not beautiful, but uh, it does its job.
for now let's add uh, the details a bit of locking and this project is also complete Thanks to all my supporters on Patreon, because these videos are only possible thanks to their support. If you find my work interesting and want to see some new things, you can become a patron. The link is in the description box below this video. Furthermore, in the description box you will find the Amazon affiliate links for the materials I use and recommend. The price makes no difference, only a very small amount will be transferred to me. It's also a way to support this channel. Okay guys, this is it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you like this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel, please remember to support my channel and share this channel with your friends, okay? Till next time, happy crafting!